everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you're doing great and we're going to be talking about what is going on across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well as the rainfall forecast for today. But the majority of this video will be on that area in the Caribbean where we could see development this week. So models remain consistent on a tropical storm or even a hurricane uh, be coming off this area. So Euro remains consistent about a hurricane and we're going to be taking a look at the latest. So let us get straight into it. As we move on to the satellite imagery, there we can see that things remain a bit messy, especially across the South Caribbean with a lot of moisture within the area. And there is a surface trough in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles. So that is helping to enhance the rainfall activity across some areas. Things get a bit drier as we head toward the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, even across uh, the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, sections of Hispaniola, Jamaica, and Cuba. But over in eastern Cuba, we can see that there is some thunderstorm activity this morning, but that's dissipating. Cayman Islands, same story, not seen much happening there, uh, neither for some parts of Central America, but for some areas, there could be some periods of heavy rainfall and even thunderstorm activity, and uh, even down through Northern South America as well. Then for the ABC Islands, there isn't much happening this morning. As we take a look at the rainfall forecast, when we see more of those oranges and reds and even those burgundies and purples, a lot of heavy rainfall is expected. So starting out with the Eastern Caribbean, again, there is that trough in the area. So there's likely to be some more rainfall activity through today for Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, even for St. Lucia and Barbados, there could be some rainfall activity as well. Hidden from Martinique, northward through to Anguilla, including the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, much not expected at all. So there may be some passing showers at the most, but today's likely to be a pretty sunny day. And as we head toward Hispaniola, sections of Hispaniola, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, and the Cayman Islands, there could be some shower activity or even some thunderstorms across some areas as the day goes on. And then as we head over into the vicinity of Central America, especially near the Caribbean coast, uh, going towards portions of Belize, even for Guatemala, the offshore islands, the Keys, the Bay Islands of Honduras, Honduras itself, and even down through portions of eastern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, and uh, Colombia and Venezuela as well. We could see quite a bit of rainfall activity developing across some areas as we head through today. There could be some very heavy downpours, and that can even trigger flooding. It will likely be a sunny day today across the majority of the Guyanas, but especially for Guyana, there could be some shower activity this afternoon. And finally, for the ABC Islands, there is a lot of moisture in the air, so there is a chance that there could be some showers through today. And so we're going to be taking a look at the disturbance and talking about the models. But firstly, I want to take you to the Gulf. And there we can see a lot of that activity in association with the front. And that front has actually stalled now. It's a stationary front, which means that, you know, it's not moving. So a lot of activity is likely to develop along the Gulf Coast states, across Texas, and move toward the east through to other states as well as we head throughout this week. So Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, uh, expect some increase and heavy rainfall as the week goes on and in these periods of heavy rainfall there could even be flooding so please take the necessary precautions and stay safe when required. As we go on to the latest from the National Hurricane Center, here we can see that there is a 40% chance of development. So it's now in that medium range. The chance has increased since this time yesterday. And uh, once conditions ahead seem conducive and that air flow pressure forms, eventually this chance will continue to increase. And we could see a tropical depression form by the end of this week. That's what the National Hurricane Center has said. So let's see what the models have to show now. We're kickstarting things looking at the GFS. This is as we head to Thursday of this week. We can see that nothing defined is here at this point, but we're seeing all of this shower activity uh, marked by those shades of greens, yellows, reds, and even those pinks. A lot of heavy rainfall expected in the central caribbean there we can see that 1000 1001 millibar low pressure center right there however the gfs is showing that all of that activity is going to be uh, absorbed into that front but we see a lot of moisture across hispaniola even headed toward puerto rico sections of the southern bahamas and even the turks and caicos islands as well and this is as we head to this weekend saturday the 18th of november let's head on to the euro so associated with what is currently happening across portions of 
of the southern U.S., the Euro model is expecting that airflow pressure to eventually form offshore off Florida as we head to Friday of this week, a disorganized system. And there we see all that increase in moisture across the Caribbean headed toward Hispaniola. And in the southwestern Caribbean, there we see that 1,005 millibar low pressure area. This is where Euro gets pretty interesting. There we see what uh, appears to be a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. This is as we head to next, uh, well, next Sunday night. And then as we head toward Tuesday, take a look at this. The Euro is showing that uh, that system, whatever it is, a tropical depression, tropical storm will no longer be under the influence of the front as it strengthens. And there we can see that uh, it is tightening up. Those black lines you see, once they're tightening up, that is a signal of intensification. And take a look at this. Tuesday night, we see that 980 millibar uh, hurricane just to the south of Jamaica. Now, last evening, Euro was showing that this would be a lot further south of Jamaica. So now it is taking it a lot closer. And with that next front coming down, that would suggest a northwestward track. So that is a very interesting scenario. I'm not saying that it will happen, but uh, it is one of the many possibilities on the table at this point in time. Now, the ICOM model is showing a tropical storm. This is as we head to Friday of this week. There's all of that activity making its way across Jamaica as that front allows for the system to move up to the north. Northeast, and eventually this is going to be spreading through the rest of the greater Antilles for portions of Cuba going toward Haiti especially and uh, even the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands should anticipate an increase in rainfall activity and eventually all of that is absorbed by the front. And finally the Canadian model is showing all of that increase in moisture just offshore of the Bahamas as well as in the Caribbean associated with that front. There we see that airflow pressure forming, not something very organized or very strong we see a thousand millibars so there we have it guys uh, it is definitely possible that we could see development and it is not every day you see you're expecting a hurricane in the latter part of the hurricane season and uh, this goes to show how very warm those waters are because that is the uh, primary fuel that these systems need as we look at the sea surface temperature map there we can see 30 degrees celsius across much of the caribbean that is going to be fuel in development and this is not only at the surface but also the Beneath the surface so there's a lot of available heat energy to actually support development so once the upper level winds are conducive once they're not strong to interfere with development and once there is not a whole lot of dry air intrusion then we will definitely see development even if it is for a short period of time because we have seen where it only takes just around a couple of hours for these systems to actually develop once the conditions are right so we'll have to keep our eyes on the Caribbean we'll have to keep our eyes on that system that area of low pressure once it develops later this week and i'm here to keep you posted as i always do so that is pretty much it for now and i hope that you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise